Hello guys, welcome back to Line Up. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to connect Parkbun domain to Versa. So if you're interested, let's get started. So how to exactly do so? Well, first thing that you want to do here is you want to go ahead and go to Parkbun.com here, log in into your account. Now in our Parkbun website, or in this case on our account, you want to go ahead and go to your domain management option here. You want to go ahead and copy your domain. Once you've copied that, let's go ahead and open up Versa. Now, what you need to do is you want to go ahead and open up one of your projects here, and you want to go to your settings. Now, in your settings, you want to go to the left panel here, click on domains. And in here, what we need to do is we just need to enter our domain. Let's go ahead and basically paste it in here, click on add. Now, it's going to ask you three options here. So, you have the option to add uh, and redirect to the following domain. You could also choose add the site and redirect to the following to it, or add uh, the following uh, domain here. But we're going to choose the recommended one here. So go and choose that. Click on add. And what we need to do here is we just need to follow some information. So the thing with our, uh, in this case, domain here is you could actually follow two ways on connecting your domain. So you could either add records or you could use name servers. So if you choose name servers here, we just need to add the following name servers in order for you to basically add your website. But you could also just add records here. As an example, I'm going to add in uh, the following record. So I will be adding a, a record or a CNAME record. So let's go back into Porkbun. Now, if you want to edit your name servers, you just need to click on NS for name servers, and you just need to add it in here. But if you want to add like DNS or records, you just want to go ahead and click on DNS. And from here, what we need to do is we want to go ahead and go to the section here. And you want to go and choose your type of record. Now, your host here, which in this case is going to be at value for a record. And also, this is going to be the value for it. Let's go and copy it. And from here, let's go and keep the TTL to 600. You can go and keep this by default. Let's go and click on add. Now, once you've added this, what we need to do next is we now need to add our CNAME record. Let's go and choose CNAME. And from here, let's go and copy the value itself. Make sure there's no spaces and we want to remember the name. Let's go ahead and go to our host here. So www, add our value, click on add. Now, once you've added all the records here, what you need to do is you just need to close this one. You need to go back into Verso and it will automatically refresh itself from time to time. Now, the connection process might, takes a, might, might take a while here, so I recommend you to just refresh it as much as you can here until that you see it uh, configured. Now, again, like what I said before, this might take a while, so go ahead and refresh it. And also, the whole connection process might take around like 24 to 48 hours, so just go ahead and wait for it. But usually, you should be good. And that's about it. Hopefully, this video was able to help you like and subscribe to LineUp. Thank you for watching.